Welcome to the Inside Integration Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm joined as always by my partner, Jason. What's up, everybody? And uh, today we are going to talk about uh, a couple of different things. Uh, we're going to start out with Lightheaded a little bit. We're going to uh, we're going to recap them a little bit. They're a new line that we are taking on in uh, Pacific Northwest and Northern California. Um, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the CE Pro uh, Top 100 list that came out and just a couple other little industry trends and, and that razzle kind of dazzle thing. right yeah you gotta, you gotta sprinkle you gotta sprinkle the magic around a little bit you know to talk about uh our friend you know we'll start it off here with uh with lightheaded you know pretty exciting uh opportunity to to have a fixture line that's not in the in the stratosphere <laughs> uh price wise right. we'll just kind of put it out there i mean everybody you know i'll say this if you've got the opportunity to sell every client uh lutron ketra you should do that right? Like absolutely client wants those fixtures. They want that kind of performance in their home. Uh, 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 pl please do, you know, keep them coming. Right. Right. <laughs> and that never, never going to be, uh, never going to be in anybody's uh, way when it comes to trying to maximize the return on, on what they do for a living. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm not aware of a wealth of clients that <laughs> want nothing, but, several thousand dollar light fixtures and multiples of in, in every room of their house. So uh, this product, uh, the lightheaded uh, group really has some yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty attractive capabilities for frankly, very reasonable price points uh, when you talk about um, what lighting can cost. Yeah. And it, I mean, that's, that, that is probably one of the bigger takeaways is, you know, we had, we had our webinar, where we, we kind of got a, a nice overview and, and checked out their line and they have some really great stuff. They have a lot of hanging fixtures. They have a lot of things and it is reasonably priced and it has a great margin for dealers. Like that's, that's the key, man. If you can get these things specced in, they are bulletproof. They look really attractive. So many options available and, and, and all kinds of good stuff. Um, Jason, you're you're going up there. We we got the virtual tour because you know they're they're in Canada, which is an insurmountable object uh, on the border. We're, so it's, a, it's you know, a frozen ice wall it, that is truly. between <laughs> uh, you know uh, Canada and the United States. You know, depending on who you ask, it's either Canada is America's hat or America is Canada's pants. You know, I mean. It's true. Uh, it, it really depends on your perspective uh, it's true. on on the U.S. Canada relations. And, and in all uh, cases, Mexico is definitely the the shoes that those are those are the shoes. I mean, it's it's warm, you know. It's 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 they're 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 busy down there. They're working, right? Oops. Like it's 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 crazy, right? And it's 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 all about hustle. So, but uh, but yeah, you're you're heading up there this week, I think, to to go, you know, check out their facility, and uh, you know, like a, like I was saying, we we got a virtual tour, which was great, but you're actually going to get in there and get some hands on some stuff, and, uh, and you know, check out what they're all about, and uh, you'll you'll I'm sure be reporting back. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So for uh, for those of us you know that will listen to this after it's already happened, um, this week uh, is the uh, Cedia Tech Summit and Business Summit in Vancouver, British Columbia. So due to my proximity uh, of the Canadian border, all jokes aside, um, I'm just going to jet up there and and have a look at that. And one of the you know anchor. Uh, lines I'll say is uh, is lightheaded. They're one of the obviously going to be one of the people that'll be displaying product there. So my first chance to actually meet the team in person. Uh, but for those of us that you know don't, that don't know what we're talking about, uh, if you check out lightheaded.com, uh, it's a fixture line that's really well known in the specifier world. Um, they've got some really cool modern uh, type of fixtures, like one inch by one inch mini micro uh led uh that has no you know you can do it trimless if you want like that uh opens just up little the doors points of for, light. yeah Beautiful. this little 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 twinkle of light somewhere in the ceiling so you know if, if those kinds of things excite you or excite some of your clients um these guys give you the option to to get there um and and compete with uh higher end solutions so you can bring those higher end finishes to your builders or to your clients that maybe aren't in the several, you know, deep nine figure build <laughs> on their house, uh, you know, for, for some of the folks that are maybe, you know, sub seven figures on their house, it gives you, <laughs> uh, gives you the ability to, to bring some higher end finishes uh, into those spaces and, you know, and you know, blow things up or excuse me, not blow things up, 
blow them up, right? We gotta use the right uh, vernacular go. here. Let's, let's let's talk about let's apply in, some rizz. Sense. Some rizz, right. as the kids might say. Uh, oh yeah, sparkle a little sparkle dust on it. There um, you go. So, uh, you know, as you were mentioning the, you know, I, excuse me, I think maybe I just teed up the website. I was talking about myself in the third person. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the website, what's really cool about um, some things you can do on it is it, it's, you know, the world of, of lighting and design can be dizzying when you talk about all the different accessories and all the little different parts and pieces. So what these guys have is that when you look at, say, you look at the Opus or you look at the Opus Eco, which is kind of their bread and butter product line, um, you can go there and you can click on a PDF and literally go through and pick the brightness option, trim option, uh, whether you want it to be warm, dim or not, color temperature, whatever that looks like, you can click on all those different options and it'll give you a part number. So when you go to order it, you just literally color by numbers, if you will, and go, okay, I need this size fixture with this brightness and this color temperature, and maybe I don't need warm dim, but I want, you know, want, I want the outside of the, the fixture to be white, but I want the inside lens to be gray or orange or whatever you want it to do. You can pick all those options out, creates a part number for you, and then you can go straight to our friends uh, at Lighthead with a PO and say, hey, give me a quote for these to churn it out for you and then you can do the math present it to your builder present it to your customer and, uh, yeah and, and if you're if you're familiar at all with specking other other competing light <laughs> light products the process is not as straightforward <laughs> this is uh, again this is I, a I'm good way to, to do it. it yeah this is this is new to me but i'll, I'll say that um even working with one of our new partners uh out here in eastern washington uh new, new and excited uh to get on board with with the guys at Lightheaded, um, quote came back well within budget. Looks like we're we got a thumbs up from the builder, uh, and and the dealer was literally able to go and color by numbers and go. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to ask anybody else. I don't need to call tech support. I can go. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. This option, that option. Yes, yes. No, no. I want you know zero to ten, or I want line voltage, or whatever I need in this particular spec and bob's your uncle at the end of it so which um, which also makes exciting. it really easy when you're dealing with you know if you're coming into a project and you're you're involved and you're you're making a play to get that lighting if there already is a, a lighting designer involved and they have a spec it's really easy to take that spec and say this is great i can i can go on this website i can configure this thing exactly the way the lighting designer you know the lighting designer wants two inch fixtures here with a with a 30 degree spread you know, in this color temperature, great. I can, <laughs> I can build this and, and I'm all set. And now, you know, you can provide a, a competing bid with other fixtures and, and that sort of thing. And it's super duper easy. And the stuff is just absolutely great. Like it's really, really nicely made. It's, uh, you know, just made over the border. Um, you know, these, and these guys have been doing it for a long time too. Like that's the other, <laughs> that's the other angle. Yeah. yeah. You're having that conversation, you know, we've talked a little bit about this and we can attribute some of our advice to uh, some of our friends at, uh, at by design, but you know, the, the sooner that you can get into these projects, the more options you're going to be able to present to the clients before they're fatigued or before they're like, yeah, you know, AVs lower down on our priority priority list. I absolutely have to have lighting in my closet and I need to have lighting, you know, throughout my house. So in terms of like the, the order of those operations, being able to get in there and have those conversations and be able to present something that they, a lot of these builders may or designers may have even heard of already lightheaded is is huge in the specifier world, huge in the pro world. So uh, they're, this residential play um, is really exciting. And as always, we're here to help you. So if you've got a question, uh, you want to reach out to us and talk to us about, hey, we want to get into lighting. We want to we want to make this easy for us. Tell me how to do it. That's what we're all about. Yeah, and it, I mean, it, it, it kind of speaks to a larger conversation of and, and where I was going to use that quote that Jason stole from me just now. <laughs> basically, you know, it, it kind of reflects and here me here we go, king of transitions. Uh, it kind of kind of reflects in the CE Pro, you know, top 100 and, and some of the trends that we're seeing where a lot of dealers growth is coming from non-traditional avenues, right? Like, you know, lighting at this point is is pretty common for integrators to be into. And so is shading and, and wellness and power and, and these things. And that's 
sort of how a lot of the members of this group have have grown um and moved up that you know ce pro top 100 and it's really you know it really is kind of becoming self-evident that you know getting in and, and being an integrator who does lighting um that gets you in the door way earlier in a project than you know typically you may have been able to right like you're not just the guy who's helping them pick out tvs and, and putting in speakers you're honestly not even the guy who's just doing a low voltage pre-wire now you're involved in specifying lighting and you're on that project way before you probably would have been able to get into which you know the cascading and ripple effect of that is you are you're literally involved in the project earlier, right? So you get to be a voice in the decisions that get made all down the line, um, <laughs> whether you want to or not. Um, but, you know, it, it, it allows you to sort of influence some more of the decision making like, yeah, hey, we should totally do this kind of shade on this window. And you're able to see that before anything is framed out and anything is built up. Um, you know, that gets you in and that makes you an invaluable part of the project team uh you know where and that leads into you know being in there early leads into lighting it leads into additional sales and it leads into you know maybe making should, money baby yeah making <laughs> money but hey maybe we should reframe this room to make it into a listening room and now i could sell these gigantic speakers <laughs> you know you're 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 basically planting the seeds for like six months down the road and and keeping those options open instead of closing those doors and that's um you know, it, it seems pretty reflective in that CE Pro list that a lot of the dealers on that list, and you know, we we know the ones that we we represent, um, you know, in our in our two territories, but you know, these are these are verticals, right? Like nobody's making money selling TVs. <laughs> unless, hey, you know, hey, they're, they're, just they're making money in in a, in a general sense, right? Like yeah, you're not, no, you know, the, the days of the that you're right. I mean, we we've talked about this on our on our show. The days of the fifteen thousand dollar flat panel unfortunately in the current state of things it's not a thing right now until there's a new until there's a new shiny thing on the wall or, or some other way to get larger format into a home for more right. attainable bucks it's it's just it's kind of where we're at you know the the ceiling is maybe ten thousand dollars and that's a stretch yep. right yep so it's it's another it's just another avenue and you know i mean for uh, friend of mine who's an integrator down here in socal um he was literally just telling me the story last week as we were walking through a home that he was in there he happened to be part of a conversation the conversation steered more towards lighting he was able to say hey i have a you know there is a um i can certainly do the you know do the linear lighting for you and do the accents and here's what we would do and that led to a conversation where they did linears all over this place based on that conversation so now there's there's linears under the toe kicks in the bathrooms that come on when <laughs> when you walk in there late at night it's a nice feature right and highlighting different things throughout the house but being involved in a project at that point and being able to weigh in on these things led to a total redesign of the media room where it, it became you know instead of just a tv on a wall it it really allowed this integrator to get a better idea of what the homeowner was going to use it for and what they enjoy the most and it became okay it's going to be you know a direct view but we're also going to do an ultra short throw that comes out on a motorized drawer with a screen that comes down and that would have never been part of the conversation had this guy not been in the right place at the right time having that linear lighting conversation and it's it sounds crazy but there's stories like this all over the place where you know, if you're the you're the technology guru and you position yourself as the you know the concierge of cool, as we've said yeah, we've, a lot we've of times. Quite, that's, hey, it's, I put that on an envelope and mailed it to myself. It's patented. <laughs> it's trademarked. There's a stamp on it. It's 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 it's, it's locked. Sounds that's like it. we're going to court, buddy. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I stole I stole your quote, so it's, that's what I get. But, uh, but no, it, it it's it all contributes, right? Like any way that you can become a more valued part of that project team and part of that conversation it it just allows you to do so much more it allows you to build a system that you know that you're capable of doing and, and that is you know designed by you to fulfill the needs of your client the more opportunities you have to know your client better the more opportunities you have to to build technology that fits their lifestyle and really becomes a, a valuable part of that project yeah, I, I got excited just even hearing that story because you think about just the <laughs> the compounding dollars, right? Like, you know, it, this is a, this is mom and pop America. This is not like 
gangbusters or you know like this is a grind for a lot of people so the, the more that you can grind in there the more you can shave off the you know the more profitable that you can be the more you can build up your business and you can get on to a list like the ce pro 100 that we were looking at right like you can see where that that breakover point uh starts to starts to really add value uh in, in real dollars uh to your business you know that's um it, you know, it it shouldn't sound like um, you know an epiphany to say, "Hey, the, the more the more <laughs> things you sell to people, the more money you're going to make." Right, right. But uh, the the opportunity, as you said, to to create kind of your own serendipity for right place, right time, um, that becomes much more organic and and simplified if you know if you're having those conversations with the customers earlier. Right, and it's it. I mean, it's like any other. It's like any other sales business where you're you know, it, this is a game of touches and yeah, that sounds terrible. Um, but this is literally however many conversations, your yourself. <laughs> however many conversations you can have to, you know, to, to tell people what you're about, that's, that's, what's going to get more things into the project. You know, how many guys out there that are just kind of dipping their toes in the water with like savant power, right? And like that conversation may have came about because, you know, you were already specifying a savant system in a home. And hey, you know, have you ever thought about power management or have you ever thought about resiliency or, you know, charging up your battery when the rates are low at night and then running your power, you know, running your house off of that? That's a conversation that may have never happened if one of the leading control system manufacturers hadn't, you know, kind of got that into everybody's head. And it's it's certainly true, right? So now suddenly you're, you know, you're on board with a $40,000 power install that you would have never had, you would have never had a bite of that apple to begin with. And it's, well, you know, there's, there's a lot of instances of that. It's, it's all, it, it just kind of points to the just broader trend of convergence, right? As, as much as it's order to disorder with entropy, you've got, you've got this natural convergence where, you know, up is down, left is right, and these companies are coming together and, and merging. Um, you know, we didn't we talked about this a little bit before, but you know, things like Daisy yeah. weren't really even a thing before January of, of this year, <laughs> and now they're five companies deep with another round of you know uh, over ten million dollars in funding from what from what I read in the news. So. Yeah. I mean, um, they, they just they just got involved with the shade above up in San Francisco. So they're they're expanding their geographic footprint. They're expanding their their offerings. And, you know, it's uh, it, it's something that I think we're going to continue to see a lot of. There are a lot of these groups like Bravis is another one. You know, they're uh, huge. Yeah. Sh shout out to shout out, shout out to our friends at, at Daisy and at, at Bravis. We've got some, totally. got some friends over there. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, it's 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 a good thing. Right. We're we're all you know, this is the rising tide that lifts all the boats. And this is how we're we're going to go forward. Um, and it relates to buying groups, too. Same, you know, same idea. Now you're now you're part of a tribe. And <laughs> yeah, getting your oars, getting your oars uh, in the in the water and rowing the same direction. I actually, just had a had a conversation with a dealer uh, that we're working up with here in the Pacific Northwest. Joined a joined one of the buying groups, and you know, interesting. Immediately when we're talking about new lines and opportunities, he was gung ho about some and uh, gung ho about some others, and then found out that you know one one of the programs didn't align with what the group was doing, and that was that conversation was over. So, you know, it's very clear that uh, there's some folks out here that are taking this seriously, and you know, trying to maximize their return on, on those on those you know strategic decisions. Right, that's a that's a huge one. Um, kind of again, kind of leads us to our our list a little bit, and and where the where the industry is as a whole in terms of dollars, according to you know, the industry, uh, you know, uh, I, I want to use the word rag, but that's not the right word, right? Like it's, <laughs> it's a, it's a it's trade a publication. It's sir. a trade publication. A trade publication. I'm <laughs> such a street idiot. To be fair. I can't, to be fair. It, it, yeah. To be, to actually give them the respect that they're due because they know <laughs> right. those people, but I know I would, you know, I would just say trade rag about car magazines or, or any of these other things. So that's just my parlance. It means uh, I infer no disrespect uh, by using those terms. So yes, trade publications like CE Pro, uh, obviously not everybody uh, plays in that in that market, but you know, to get into the top 100 now, I mean, it's a, it's a million dollar 
watermark to to get over that line uh to, to be counted on the list of, of integrators uh and then when you talk about the the business as a whole uh it's clear that you know maybe if you scrape out the the adts of the world um the 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 space is space is shrinking a little bit right it's it's moved more up market um and it's moved into a space that um it is it's kind of new landscape for a lot of guys that weren't thinking that they were going to be a, a seven figure concern uh as, as a business annually right or or multiple you know maybe eight figure you know, there's there's some nine figure guys on there right so there's some there's some real there's some real money some real stuff happening out there but i, I we're starting to see that you know the, the cream rise to the top me and gene just to to borrow a, <laughs> to borrow a phrase from a <laughs> from from an earlier conversation it's um you know, I think I think it's just a broader trend line that, that we see uh, across the board in in the economy and in the market that we're in right now. Well, and and there is you know to be clear, like there's there's there are spots for just about anybody who likes technology and wants to consider oh, themselves sure. a custom integrator, right? Like you could go in and you know there's there are plenty of guys who are just making a ton of dough doing Eero systems or all they do is they roll in they and they'll do your network with Eero or Ubiquity if they're, you know, so inclined or, or whatever it is. And, and that's, that's great too, right? Like it's, it's good. You know, we're, we're establishing ourselves as a, as a professional group, right? Like we're really trying to get into and be the fourth trade and is it four, right? Plumbing, electrical. What's the third? <laughs> what? Why am I totally drawing a blank on what our plumbing, electrical, HVAC? Yeah, right? that, it's a, yeah, thank you. Right, so you know, if we're if we're that fourth trade and we're technology, yeah, that's a great place for us to be. You know, yeah, be, I'd rather be in the top three than the top four. So you want to move up to that electrical? Uh, you want to? I mean, <laughs> well, honestly, I think that's the target for a lot of these guys. Again, when you, like we just laid it out with convergence, right? When we look at the list of the guys that are on the top one hundred, a lot of those dudes are electrical contractors as well or sure. they've got alarm guys um electrical you know, guys. or yep. they, they've got you know whether they're tied in locally whether the state laws are or whatever that looks like um you know washington is far more regulated than than florida for example right when it comes to when it comes to what, <laughs> just in what general you can, just on what every... you can get away with <laughs> in, in, in a professional <laughs> trade situation but you know yeah you still gotta you still gotta meet code you still gotta do do all those things but um you know again when you see the one-stop shop, hey, I can go to this guy's for electrical. Okay, oh, you can do the lighting as well. Oh, you can do the surround sound. You can do the TVs. You can do the sound in the backyard. You can do the alarm. You're yeah. gonna, you're gonna be again. You're gonna be looking for qualified uh, individuals to join your team because you should be everything a fairly busy individual. Everything the light touches, Simba. We can, we can integrate. Whoa, <laughs> this is where we're. This is two young kids um but okay that's where we're, you know that's uh that's really what we're you know what we're pushing towards is it, you know if it has if it relates to technology in the home like we want an integrator involved in it and that is you know how how many takeover jobs have you seen out there that you know hey i my electrician pulled all of my communication wires and you know it's less frequent now but yeah you know. my, michael restrepo is making a very nice career out of sorting out other people's messes dude like the guy on his facebook like i see all of his befores and afters and yep and uh you know shout out to michael because my god new jersey's some, own michael some, restrepo some, some of those some of those nightmares that uh that i see them straighten out and, and comb out um yep you know that's you know proof positive that you you want a uh you know qualified professional yeah and, uh, and working and in your space it, and, it's and not to say it right. that it's not to say that electricians are incapable or anything else. It absolutely not. But it, it's, this is a specialized task, you know, like you're, you know, we've, we've all heard the story about the, uh, you know, the, the plumtrician, right. Who he's the guy, he's pulling your wire and he's, oh, yeah. and he's doing your pipes. This is, this is something that's definitely more specialized, you know, and we're, um, you know, it, it serves us well. And it's, it's good that we have a good organization like Cedia and we have these great trade groups within that, that are, you know, pro source and, um, why can't I remember the, the, the training group? Um, why can't I remember that the training group? There's a, um, man, what is it? It's a, uh, it, it's basically an organization within 
you know, within the CD space that trains guys. Why can't I remember? I'll, when I think of it, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be like, eh, 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 yeah, this thing. I, I, man. Yeah. I, and, and, and it's a shame too, because like, I've always looked at that and said, yeah, that's, that's oh, exactly like, what's it's kind of like installer Institute or kind of thing, it's, right? It's really similar. Yeah. It, it's not quite like a Lincoln tech, but it's definitely specialized towards, you know, pulling low voltage, putting in speakers, hanging TVs, you know, all the, all the basic staple stuff. Um, and it's, it's really just specifically to address, you know, this the need, vacuum of, of, yeah, the need uh, in the industry of, of, you know, younger people coming into it to, to, fill these roles and you know kind of keep this thing going um man i priced i priced what techs cost these days uh, uh just asking around some of my dealers and guys are looking for help of course is always looking for good people Whew. um you know i thought that i was a pretty high flyer making 25 bucks an hour um and, and this granted you know this is <laughs> right. this is this is 2004 right so this is you know this is you know not not bad right like 2004 money 25 bucks an hour sometimes 30 bucks an hour whatever that whatever the job looked like okay that's that's decent uh how does 50 to 60 dollars an hour sound for, yeah. for my folks out there in the pacific northwest we're, we're into uh certified electrician numbers without well, i mean the, without the journeyman rate well, in in this state, you need to have that, right? So you need to get your hours in. And I guess one of the issues is kind of the the flight, you know, like they, they'll come and work for a low voltage guy, rough in a bunch of houses to get their hours and then they go and, and do something else. So I think what we've seen, at least here in Washington, is the guys that have been successful with wooing, uh, you know, people that are looking to get their electrical ticket and saying, hey, like, you don't need to be out there doing all, doing all the hard stuff you know you, you could you <laughs> right. could be here you could be here working on luxury homes and condos and and working in a in a space that you know not not the average everyday you know electrical gig um but you know of course maybe they want to go on and do underwater welding or, or something that pays you know hundreds of dollars an hour i <laughs> right. don't know I don't right know. work I on like, an oil platform or yeah, something I, sure. I want my life to, you know maybe i'm just projecting that i'd, I'd like to have a you know a, a fairly fairly comfortable life with, without a whole lot of physical intervention. If I can help right. I, I, I prefer to keep my carcinogens at the minimum and 100% a risk uh, of I, death at the minimum as well. I, I've, I've got my layer, you know, if I was a ro if I was a tree and you were counting the rings on the inside of me, there's, there's a, there's a fiberglass ring. You know, there's a, there's an era <laughs> inside of me that's resin and um, yeah. dust and uh, like Florida oh. addicts in August. Oh yeah, oh, for sure. Come on, yeah, uh, blowing insulation, all the good stuff, all that good stuff. It's it's great, it's great. But yeah, and that's you know that that kind of addresses and, and it, it's it was really to bring it all back. I mean, it was really kind of encouraging to see the CE Pro list and and see that you know, there, there is still growth happening, right? Like it was, it was kind of dire there for a minute. A lot of people were kind of thinking yeah, the worst, cool. but we're, you know, this industry is expanding and man, we need so people to you, fill roles. Right. Well, and you look at the trend line, right? Like the, the, of course the doom and gloom is, well, you know, in, in 2022, we were at $7.7 .7 billion or whatever. Right. And then in 2023, it's down to 6.33 billion. Okay. Well, you still post COVID high. You got to really look at your metrics for 2017, 2018 to really talk about what reality probably actually is for, for this space and for our industry. And if we're uh, even down at eight, you know, even down 18% or whatever the, whatever the total is there, um, we had like a 20 something percent jump in our industry for, yeah. you know, three or four years in a row, year over year. Okay. Guess what? Things are still pretty good uh, on the whole. So, you know, your perspective may be skewed on some of that, but uh, it's clear there are some su uh, success stories out there. Uh, you know, again, to call out some of our friends here uh, in the PNW, you know, we've got uh, infinite home theater making the list. We've got, uh, our friends, our friends at Y Pliance making almost the top 10, yep. um, here in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, you know, we saw, um, uh, who are the, a couple of home electric, uh, we saw some other guys yep. that the NorCal you know, audio visions always on the list. NorCal yeah, Bravo, San Francisco on that some, list. Yeah. Some guys flying under the radar, maybe, 
you know, in terms of notoriety, but clearly out there crushing it. Um, and yeah, again, kudos to everybody that, that made the list. But, uh, you know, again, general health of our industry overall, I would say is still very strong and luxury goods and luxury customers. There's more people that have more money now than there ever have been before, it's whether true. it's PPE loan or Joey B <laughs> putting money on the street or whatever happened there. I don't know. Uh, but regardless of that, you know, the, the 5%, or excuse me, the 1% kind of swelled to the 5%. So there's a lot of opportunities out there to cater to those luxury customers, those luxury goods. And uh, again, I think uh, by and large, having a cool mix of gear, a cool uh, set of offerings that you're confident in presenting will will get you uh, on that list, get you get you over that $1 million mark and, and uh, get you, you know, some more industry recognition, more uh, notoriety. Uh, I was going to say infamy, but that's not the right, uh, it's not the right word there. Yeah. And it, you know, it, it really is, it, it's about, you know, if, if you love what you do, you, you never work a day in your life. Right. And this is uh, it's you not know. true. <laughs> it's, I've never worked. I've never worked harder for things that I loved. Maybe, maybe I've just had life. a string of all the wrong jobs, but uh, <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe wow. that's where we are, but no, it's, it's, it's true though. Right. Like if you're, you know, to, to be the best in your class, to be that, that, that guy who is the technology guy on all the projects near you that are just high profile, you know, you're, this is, it's a very dad thing to do to kind of drive around and, and point out jobs that you've worked in, you know, that's the old trade dad thing, right? Like you're driving around with your kids. It's like, Oh yeah, hey, I worked in that house. Hey kids, I worked in that house. I did this over here. When, when were you following me down the road? That's uh, Hey man, it's, it's every one of us. Every one of us does that dumb thing it's it's great though you know it's like you know every time somebody famous is on the tv uh you know and they're from new jersey i'm pointing out to my kids like yeah i worked in that dude's house or whatever like you know. i thought i was gonna feel better at the end of this podcast i feel worse <laughs> yeah this is this is not the therapy podcast that that's oh. that's next we're, we're gonna do that one next uh it's just av therapy and we all just you know piss and moan about <laughs> those are about everything those are behind a paywall yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to pay for so, that. It's uh, we, we name names, you know. Right. We 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 get uh, we rough people up. It's crazy. But uh, but yeah, and that's you know that's uh these are this is where we are. Like we spend a lot of time on this thing. I mean, we're twenty three episodes into this, and I don't think an episode has gone by that we haven't talked about branching out to to different things, right? Like how many you know how many times can you talk about speakers and TVs? It's sure. you know we're all we're all into other things that we never thought we'd be into 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, going well so far, seems like that, that list is getting bigger and bigger. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so look forward to, we're going to, yeah, it's probably about time to wrap this up anyway, right? Before we, before we go yeah. way off into the weeds. Yeah. Well, yeah. Before, again, before we actually record the, the Patreon episode, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know the the pay stay for, tuned for all yeah, the, the ways that your favorite uh, control system is just oh yeah. no yeah. yeah you don't want to deal with these guys you want to deal with these guys and here's why <laughs> uh, call this the strategy podcast uh, no anyway. we would no. never we would never besmirch anybody on this podcast other than ourselves certainly that's, not. That's, certainly that's, not. That's not this about. podcast no that's again behind the paywall it's right. totally fine but uh but yeah you know that's that's where we're at. So Jason, you're, uh, you're, you're heading up to Canada, uh, at the end I'm of this week. Headed up to Canada. I'm going to be up there, uh, for a couple of days. Going to go to the, uh, the CE or excuse me, the CEDIA tech summit and business summit thing in, in Vancouver, British Columbia. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, if there's any differences, uh, between how they host them in the United States versus what they're doing up there. Certainly the turnout, um, I'm hoping for some poutine. Yeah, more, uh, more poutine. I would imagine is a difference. That's you know, that's kind of where I'm. You know, I'm I'm you know I'm homegrown up there, so uh, I'm gonna see you know what they've got. Uh, maybe some ginger beef. Who knows? We'll see what they're what they're all about. Um, and then get to trip uh, out to the factory to meet with the guys at Lightheaded and see kind of firsthand uh, what that looks like, and hopefully picking up some demo kits. Um, that's yeah, kind of go. my. Uh, my one-two punch. So uh, here's my commitment to you. I will do my best to document, film, record, uh, make some footage, make some hay out of uh, what I do at uh, Lightheaded. There you go. So, and obviously uh, we will recap 
our impressions of uh, the Cedia Tech Summit <laughs> in uh, Vancouver, <laughs> British Columbia. And when I say our, I mean mine, uh, because you will just be looking at photos and I will have actually been there. It's true. It's true. I'm going to be looking at this and being like, wow, there are some attractive people in Canada. And, uh, you know, <sighs> yeah. All it's right. not a bad place to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, uh, you know, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, again, my name is Chris. This is Jason. And uh, please like and subscribe. Send us an email. Let us know what we could be doing differently or better. And uh, again, thanks for joining us. Thanks, everybody. Take care.